Hey guys, it's Will It's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for finding us. If you feel like subscribing, give us a thumbs up and a uh, comment and all that fun stuff. That would be wonderful. Thank you so much. As you can see, I'm outside. The bamboo is back. It's a beautiful day in LA. And what are we here to talk about? I'm going to do a comparison video and it's not really going to be me telling you what to think, but I'm going to talk about two films. One of them is Boat People. This was directed by Anne Hui and it came out in 1982. And the other one is The Story of Wu Viet, which was directed by Anne Hui and came out in 1981. This is the special films edition this is the criterion collection edition i have both of them right here i've watched both of these films within the last month and they are both films about vietnam um and refugees more specifically about refugees from vietnam who uh boat people takes place in vietnam and is about the refugees trying to escape their condition in vietnam and the story of wu viet is about refugees who leave vietnam and end up in hong kong and then from hong kong go to parts beyond so i posted in my facebook group which has the same name as this page if you want to go check it out check it out i should also say that i did review the story of Wu Viet uh, in my Patreon. So two bucks a month or five bucks a month, those are my two tiers that I have if you wanna go sign up and you can see my full review of that, which has clips from that Blu-ray and everything that's living in Patreon. It's an exclusive Patreon review. So if you wanna see that, go check that out. But so um, uh, I posted in my Facebook group that uh, something about boat people and two, two people in the group mentioned that they think that the story of Wu Viet is a much better film than Boat People. And I thought that was really interesting because I don't think it's a much better film than Boat People. I would say they're about the same and I think they do different things really well. And so I'm just gonna talk briefly about these two films and then I want to invite you in the comments to give your impressions of the film. Now, one of the things that both of the people who said they much preferred the story of Wu Viet cited is the ending. And I will agree, the ending of the story of Wu Viet is incredible. It is really beautiful. It's really powerful. It's very sad. It's like top tier, incredible filmmaking. Whereas the ending of Boat People changes a bit from the tone of the rest of the film and is kind of more over the top, less grounded, less realistic. Um, Cause the film kind of has this almost neo-realist thing going on. And um, like, you can very much see how it would have been influenced by those Italian films from the fifties. And then all of a sudden at the ending, there's this kind of element of, it becomes like a crime thriller. And there is a thriller element throughout the film, but it is not a thriller. It just has bits and pieces of that here and there. So it does change at the end, and the ending, I don't think, lands in quite the same way as the end of Story of Wu Viet. But I would say that I think that Boat People, in a way, is a much harder film to pull off. Now, I have to tell you before I get into this that I am speaking now as a writer, uh, as someone who has written screenplays, as someone who has written a novel, as someone who... Uh, has read hundreds of screenplays professionally, doing notes on them for studios, working with screenwriters, perfecting their screenplays. I've written television pilots before. Um, nothing, obviously, that's been on TV because I wouldn't be, you know, sitting in my garden making YouTube videos for you if I were a famous TV writer, but stuff that has been shopped around and I've gotten notes from like Hulu and stuff on my scripts and things like that. So, um, which is not to like try to aggrandize myself, but to give you kind of my perspective of where I'm coming from. I'm not coming from the perspective of just like a fan of film. I'm talking about these film, these two movies as a writer. As a writer, what Boat People does, I think, is far more impressive in a lot of ways because it's a drama. It touches upon war film, it touches upon thriller, but it's very, very hard to make a film that doesn't really have a plot. Now, which is not to say there isn't a story. The story of Wu Viet is a thriller, right? It has like a plot point to plot point, this thing happens, someone wants to go and do this, there's violence, There's. it's very much a thriller. When you have a genre story, you have a template. You can follow that template. You have built-in expectations and anticipation for the audience. And again, this is not to say that the story of Wu Viet is not a great film. I think these are both great films. I would give these my highest grade, whatever that would be to you, A plus, five stars, 10 stars. These are great films, but it's easier if you have a good writer, if you have a good director, if you have good crew editor, great actors, obviously, Chai Yun Fat, Cora Miao, Sherry Chung are all in Story of Wu Viet. Lole is in it. Um, I think it's easier to make a very good film if you're in, if you're working within a genre. Boat People, I think, is a much harder film to make because how do you get the audience 
to follow you scene to scene and to be emotionally engaged when they don't know what they're anticipating and they're not sure where it's going and what the goal is. It's a lot harder to do that. And I think that the fact that Boat People pulls that off is astounding. I also think that Boat People has an emotional resonance that is broader than the story of Wuviet. The story of Wuviet does a phenomenal job of showing you great characters. And I would also say that the story of Wuvia, in a way, on a personal level, on a quieter, subtler way, is a more devastating film. Because you're so thoroughly invested in the characters that the tragedy of their fate hits really hard. But Boat People hit me harder in a broader context because Boat People looks at an entire society. And when it looks at that entire society, it starts looking beyond just that one society. You have a Japanese character in Boat People whose whole family died in World War II, who was an orphan after the war, pulled himself up by the bootstraps kind of thing, right? And and then you start, you just start to look at other, you know, we have, oh, there's a war going on in the world right now, right? And you had the war that happened in Syria where like we were seeing this horrible news every single day of like hospitals being bombed, children dying, entire cities being destroyed, right? And so when you start to look at the, the devastation of a society in the wake of the war and the tragedy of it, the human scale tragedy told through compassion of character, and just the overwhelming sadness of it, and the way that it humanizes these refugees. I mean, we had a, we we have refugee crisis crises going on in the world all the time now. There was the Syrian refugee crisis. Now there's the Ukrainian refugee crisis, right? By humanizing the refugee through showing the story of where they have been, I think you create this really deeply profound, universal worldwide emotional resonance that is extremely intense and profound and moving. Whereas the story of Wuviet, I think, creates a really beautiful, intense, and moving emotional resonance for the characters in that film, but not broader than that. And I think that the story of Wuviet is interesting because it's about aftermath, whereas Boat People is about how do we get here. And in a way, you could watch them back to back as one giant piece. So what I'm talking about is the story of Wu Viet and the story of Boat People. And essentially, this is just a defense of Boat People after I realized that uh, people, I guess, much prefer this film. And, and again, I would say that they are as good as one another. And they are both fantastic, incredible classic films and great pieces of Hong Kong cinema that should be seen by everyone. I highly urge you to check them out. They're both directed by Anne Hui. Like I said, they came out in 81 and 82, respectively. And again, I am not telling you that I think that one is better than the other. But I think that there are qualities about boat people that are genuinely incredible. And I kind of just wanted to come almost in defense of that film and say that. So my name is Will. This is Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. As always, I thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time.